hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to this channel for more amazing z world updates so the last update about twist of faith prachi and rambo goes to look for sid and ria after they landed in trouble let's continue ria and sid sees jack and jenny and eyes jack tells jenny that he will take his powder prachi is also on the road and she asks a lady if she saw ria showing ria's picture the lady says that she saw her right now Rambo calls Prachi and tells her that Sid escaped from the hotel and the police is taking him. He asks her to come to the police station. Prachi asks if Sid is fine. Rambo says that he did not know. Prachi says that she cannot come right now and tells that a lady saw Ria here. Rambo asks her to come to the police station and search for Ria later. Prachi says okay and asks about the police station. Rambo asks the constable and asks Prachi to come to Liveback police station. Prachi takes a taxi. Rambo asks the inspector why is he searching Sid. The inspector says that why did the police ask someone and tells that he is a criminal. Rambo says that Sid called and told me that he is in problem, so I came here. The inspector asks where did you hide Sid and tells that he has drugs. Rambo is shocked and tries to go, but the constable stops him. Prachi comes there. The constable asks her if she wants to file missing complaint. Rambo signs her to say yes and asks her to pretend. They sit on the bench. Rambo tells her everything and asks her to act like a stranger. Prachi says that if we take time, then it will be late. She says that they haven't arrested you and asks him to leave when she distracts the police. She hears the police constable telling the address of a girl, Rhea. Prachi notes down and sends to Rambo. A couple comes there fighting with each other. Prachi tells Rambo that they shall grab this chance and reach the girl's house before the police. They leave. The inspector comes back and asks that where is Rambo. Rambo asks a taxi driver to take them to Jananka and he says that he will find Sid then he will take him to the airport. Ria and Sid are in her house. Sid asks if this place is safe. Ria hopes that the police doesn't find her address. She says that if we tell the police, then they will arrest us and if we tell Jack and Jenny, then they will kill us. Sid says that they shall marry and then take the pictures. He says that then they can show the picture to the police. Ria says that she doesn't want to marry and get stuck in lifetime. He says that if I had phone, then I would have called my brother and he would have saved us. Ria says your brother, he must be like you. Sid says that my brother is a hero and he is about to tell his name when he sees Jack and Jenny coming there. Prachi and Rambo comes in a taxi, but they don't see them. Jack and Jenny comes inside the house. Ria and Sid escape from there. Prachi and Rambo comes inside and find the door lock broken. They understand that Sid escaped from the drug peddlers. Prachi finds Ria's bracelet and tells Rambo that Ria has such bracelets. Rambo says that there must be many bracelets like this and you're thinking about Ria. He finds tea cup and says Sid was having tea two minutes before and he must have saw the people from whom they have danger and that is why he escaped. He says that we have to check the CCTV footage. They come out and Sid Sid sitting in the car and leaving. Bob informs Jack on the call that he is following them. Rambo and Prachi also follow Sid. Prachi says that why is Sid doing this? Rambo says that he will catch Sid and the girl. Sid thanks the guy giving them lift. The guy says you have thanked me five times by now. I was going to the airport to pick my parent. Ria says that he is habitual to say thanks. Ria sees Jack and Jenny and says that they want to get down here. They get down and run. Prachi and Rambo also run behind them. Jack, Jenny and Bob are also after them. A traffic police sees Ria and Sid and informs the inspector that he found them on the race course road. He says that I will send you the entire address. The inspector says that Sid is gone. Sumit asks Sushma to leave the car and tells that he will deliver the car tomorrow. Sushma says someone dropped juice on my car, cleaned out too. She says she is going home in another car. Ria and Sid comes to the marriage venue of someone. They think that they can hide here. Jack and Jenny also comes there. Jack says that if I get my drugs, then I will also kill that Sid. Prachi and Rambo hear them and get shocked. Prachi and Rambo worried for Sid. Rambo says that we came to know that he is here. Prachi says that if someone from the gang does something, Rambo says no, we shall search them. Prachi collides with a waiter and the juice falls down on the bride's clothes. She tells her sorry. The groom comes there and asks them not to say sorry. He asks from whose side they have come. The bride asks if he will give special treatment to the bride's side. She says whoever comes will be their guest. The groom says that your sister will complain who has picked my shoes. The bride goes to change the clothes. The groom asks about their side. Rambo diverted them and go. They see Jack and Jenny and smile. Ria's hand collide with Prachi's bangle as she moves past her. 
Prachi and Rhea both sense something. Rhea stops for a while and turns, but she couldn't see Prachi as someone comes in front of her. Sid sees Jack and Jenny and comes to Rhea. He takes her from there. Rambo and Prachi continue to search for Sid. Rhea asks what to do. Shall we hide or leave from here? The bride's mother asks Rhea if she is the bride's friend and asks her to search for her. Rhea says I am searching her. She tells Sid that they have to hide somewhere soon. They go to the room and lock the door. They see the bride and the groom standing there. The groom says I was doubtful on you. He asks them to tell why they have come. Sid tells that they didn't come to trouble them and they came here to hide. Rhea says that we belong to a good family. Situation and condition is bad. The bride and the groom hold each other's hand. Rhea and Sid are seen dressed in the bride and groom's attire. A flashback is shown. Sid asks them not to get scared. Rhea tells them that they are already scared. The groom asks from where did they come. Rhea says that they met in a pub. Sid tells that he liked her when he saw her. He says that they were unaware that drugs were served with the drinks. Rhea says that if I had known, then he wouldn't have gone. She says Jenny had put the drugs in Sid's pocket. Sid says that they want the drugs back. Rhea says that she has flushed it. She says we are running away from the police and the drug peddlers and came to idea. Sid says that this city was boring, interesting and now dangerous. It didn't suit me. The groom likes that story and says that I wanted to tell my children about such story. The bride says that she always wanted to marry in a special way. Now she will get a chance to save a couple. Rhea says that we are not couple. The groom says that we will help you. He says that you have to go to the wedding altar and if they come and catch you, then they suggest Sid and Rhea to wear their wedding attire and leave from there. The bride says that we have extra clothes. Rhea and Sid are about to leave. When the groom's relative comes there and asks that what are they doing there. Sid is about to show his face when he sees the police there. Rhea says that if you don't see the face, then they will get us married. The lady talks to the inspector. The inspector tells the lady that the drug peddlers are here and they came to catch them. The lady says okay and asks the priest, the bride and the groom to come. Sid tells Rhea that they have to marry. Rhea says what? Sid tells that they will make a story that they are done caught marriage and now. Rhea says I am not prepared to marry you and says that she doesn't know him. Sid says that he stays in Delhi with his uncle and aunt. He has a cousin brother and a sister and also a sister-in-law. He says that he will never fight with her and promises her. Rhea laughs and says that she will not marry him. The priest says that the mantra is ending. Rhea and Sid owes each other's aunt and Rhea says let's get married. The priest asks both the bride and the groom to sit on the wedding altar. Sid and Rhea sit on the wedding altar. Sid thinks that if he shall call Rambro, he calls Rambro, but Rambro disconnects the call seeing unknown number. Sid thinks that Rambro doesn't pick unknown number. The priest asks Rhea to keep her hand in Sid's hand. A boy is seen playing in front of the pedestal fan. Rhea's veil is about to move from her face. Rhea eyes her face before Prachi could see her. A lady asks someone to switch off the fan. The priest asks them to exchange gallants. Rhea and Sid exchange gallants. Jack and Johnny comes there and look for Rhea and Sid. Rhea and Sid takes the round and sit. The inspector comes there and look at Jack and Johnny. Rhea thinks that she never thought to marry this way. Sid thinks that this way is wrong, but not this marriage. The inspector arrests Jack and Johnny and takes them from there silently. Sushma sees Abby on the road drinking and gets furious. She asks the driver to stop the car. She then gets down from the car and goes to Abby. Abby greets her. Sushma asks him not to force formality. Abby says what? Poor or fun loving. Sushma talks about his past and says that you know well what you have done. Abby says I am actually sorry for that. Sushma asks what do you think that you will be forgiven? Abby asks shall I give my life? Sushma says we can't do and asks him to stay away from her daughter. Abby says nobody can separate us. Sushma says Pragya is not happy with you and asks that why can't you see her moving on. Abby says that he can't see her alone and want her to be with him. Sushma says for your advantage. The priest asks the groom to fill the cinder in the bride's airline. Rambo and Prachi look for Sid. The photographer asks them to move and is about to take Rhea and Sid's picture. Sid fills real mango with cinder. The real bride and the groom comes there. The priest says that the marriage is completed now. The lady asks whose marriage have you solemnized as the bride and the groom are here. The boy switches on the fan. Rhea's veil is lifted by the wind and Brachi sees her face. Meanwhile, Rambo sees Sid's face and is shocked. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like my video and share it. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.